Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 176 pounds. Fighting! Elimanos, Arizona, Brazil, awesome! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. A oh, little single collar tie there. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Whoa! All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Lee gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet, despite having a dominant 
position on the ground. Three minutes remain in the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he caught the kick. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Oh, Chris boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. Effective punch there by Lee. Just out of range with that right hook. Massive head kick. Oh, straight right. Hands higher, hands higher. Nice hook. So there it is, taller than I will landing in need of the body. Big kick lands. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Whoa! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Whoa! Oh, so a strong five minutes down. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Wow, what a hit. here in round two, much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh! 
Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by Knockout Asa. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.